I'm Monique Minayo from St. Joseph Technical Training Center, taking fashion and design course, grade two. I take this opportunity to thank Ajan for the amazing forum he organized for us last year. Through that forum, I learned so many things, including workplace ethics, whereby I was told that ethics is the accepted code of conduct one may consider while employed in an organization or if one decides to start his or her own business. I learned that good code of contact in an organization or employed in brings in much benefit to the organization, like much profit or having more clients and hence having a good name in an organization. I was taught, I was also taught that good conduct may help one to avoid stress in, a, in an organization he or she could be employed in since one does what the organization expects of him or her, hence overcoming stress or avoiding stress in organization. Self-responsibility also comes in whereby one is able to work under pressure and also to motivate him or herself and also making decisions that may benefit the organization or maybe the or the workplace or his or her own business he or herself may be may have decided to start i really thank ajan for that educative forum they organized for us as we look forward for more forums of the same kind hello i'm bansi from saint joseph technical training center doing hair and beauty grade two i'd like to take this chance to thank ajan for the forum that we had last year through that forum i was able to learn several life skills such as communication skills through communication skills i'm able to communicate well with others in class and i'm also able to communicate with clients out there i also learned about confidence i'm able to express myself well to my clients and also to the members of my class i also learned about creativity through research i'm able to come up with different hairstyles different nail art and different makeup ideas i'll take this chance to thank ajan once again for the forum it really helped me a lot as an individual we love to have more forums because they are very educative my name is wesley ways I am from St. Joseph Technical Secondary School in Kangemi, that is in Kenya. I am a happy beneficiary of the Happy program, which is sponsored by the IRON. And I am here to say that I benefited a lot. On the first day of the forum, I got to learn how to fight STDs. I got to learn what STDs are, the types of STDs that are there, and how they affect the society. On the second day, I got to learn how to deal with people with AIDS. Today, I can say I'm a happy member of society who can fight all the STDs and help people suffering from STDs such as HIV to live happily. On the third day, I learned the influence of drugs on the youth around us. I also learned how it causes other people to get HIV and uh, myself I know right now I can't get AIDS, I can't influence, get influenced by drugs because I was a benefit of that program. I would like to request all possible donors out there you can come and support this program because it is very nice. I was happy. I was, I fed well. I got to listen to a lot of things and I danced and it was a very enjoyable program. The teacher who was there, he included us very well. He gave us a lot of knowledge and everyone was happy. And I am sure if there is to be another program, everyone will enjoy. We also got very nice t-shirts that look very nice on us. And everyone out here, I know from my friends, we are very happy. And on top of that, I'd like to say the Iron is a very nice donor. And if the Happy program is to come back again, we would be very happy. Thank you. Well, I'd like to thank uh, Ajan for funding a program for us at school. It has been very helpful. We learn many things like uh, drug abuse and um, medical problems, of, uh, some sicknesses like STDs. Um, under those, we learn so many things like under drugs. We are able to learn um, reasons why teenagers get into drugs and uh, methods of how to stop it and reduce the usage of drugs. And for STDs, we learn the reasons why we get those sicknesses. 
and we're also given um, strategies on how to stop it. And um, finally, we are, we are taught on how to maintain friendship among uh, youths and uh, we are given so many ideas. We had group discussions and we were able to, to familiarize each other for those whom we never had a talk with. For each and every step I took, it will help me in my life later and even now when I go outside there, if not in school, I'll, able to, I'll be able to help my fellow youths and um, teach them on what I was taught and everything else. And in future, I know I'll become a good citizen if I follow whatever I was taught. And it's very important for everyone and every youth to understand this and put it in practice. Last year, we did an urgent training. And in the training, we learned a couple of things, especially to deal with learners and uh, issues to do with STIs, including HIV. In the training, uh, we had a video, we had several videos. In the videos, we saw how students within the school environment can get infected with HIV, the parents' reaction and the societal reaction. Through these videos, we were able to learn that uh, as teachers, it is good to impart good morals among the learners that uh, they should be able to take good care of uh, the other students and they should not also discriminate these students. Uh, in, terms, in case of sickness, uh, where we have a child who is sick, maybe HIV positive or any other form of sickness, it is always good to vary the methods of delivery in class such that we are able to accommodate uh, these learners. We also learned about um, treating other staff with respect and also taking care of them in case they were also infected or sick in any other way. So the training was very helpful to teach us because it has uh, helped us to deal with uh, learners who we regard as special. We therefore recommend that more and more of this training be offered because we believe they are going to help us to better the lives of our children and those ones of our beneficiaries. We were also taught about uh, how to deal with those who are infected and affected in case you have a learner who is affected or infected, you know how to go about it. Some may be open about the situation. Others may show it in terms of uh, verbal and non-verbal signals. So you learn how to be conscious about the signals that learners give you. And even when you approach them, you know how to go about it. Others may be open and may uh, tell you that this and that is happening to me. Uh, after you have uh, identified those non-verbal and verbal and uh, non signals, but others still may need a bit of patience in, in the, the way that you approach them. So you also need to be patient with these runners. Uh, give them time. Show them that you are uh, safe. You, you can provide a safe space for them to express themselves, and eventually they can uh, learn to open up. Um, if you are not a trained counsellor, of course, uh, we learned uh, how to go about it. After listening to the concerns of the learner, you can uh, refer them to a specialist who can help them further with their issues. Uh, all in all, I would say I appreciate what Ajahn has done and continues to do. And uh, I, I, it is my hope that such forums would, uh, would be the norm. Uh, at least every now and then we have a forum uh, as a reminder and also as a way of learning something new because we also got to interact in groups and learning from each other uh, because everybody has different insights based on experience and it is, uh, it is important to also learn from each other because uh, what you learn from another and one that is based on experience and not merely a theory is something that uh, can be even more effective when you're dealing with learners. So I would invite Ajahn to uh, organize as many forums as they can in the future for the benefit of the teachers and by extension the benefit, the benefit of the students. Mm -hmm.